effort to tackle oil theft in the larger Delta region, the Chief of Naval Staff Vice Admiral uh, Emmanuel Ogala said the Navy is paused and taken the war against oil theft and economic sabotage in the maritime domain to the criminals. Ogala spoke while on a familiarization tool to naval facilities in River State. The Chief of Naval Staff said the Navy will improve its surveillance capabilities and will beam its searchlight more on the creeks and riverine areas where illegal oil bunkering activities take place more, while emphasizing that the move will enable the Navy to strike the criminals even before they go into the act. Well, the issue of uh, allegation of involvement of our personnel in oil theft, um, you know, this is the age of uh, social media. Many people who do not even have the full details, they just put something up there. But if you go through some of those allegations and investigate them, you find out that the basis of those allegations are not are unfounded. For instance, uh, uh, somebody will just see a vessel somewhere, he will say, oh, the military are involved. He doesn't even know whether there's proper approval from NNPC for that vessel to, to load. But if we put it on social media, that he saw some military men on board the vessel, and that vessel is engaged in illegal bunkering, without even, without having the correct information. But whatever the case may be, anytime we receive such allegation, we investigate it properly. Vice Admiral Ogala, while reacting to allegations of involvement of personnel with oil theft, the CNS noted that such claims are unfounded, adding that several investigations carried out showed that most of the allegations are not true. So, so far, our investigations have been showing that most of the allegations are not true. But each time, we still respond to them by investigating properly so that if there's element of truth in it, we hold the personnel responsible and we apply the law according to the Armed Forces Act. It has a very severe consequence ranging from imprisonment to dismissal, which we apply on. So there have been such cases in the past and appropriate action were taken. But I bet you more than 90-something percent of those allegations are just based on social media hype without proper uh, uh, background. Then with respect to what we are going to do, we are going to improve our surveillance capability because we want to be able to strike the criminals even before they, they, they go into the act. We want to arrest them while they are planning, while they are thinking about it. So we don't want to be on the uh, defensive. We want to take the war to the criminals. Among the areas the chief of Naval staff visited were onshore facilities at the Federal Ocean Terminal, on in Naval Training College, the forward operation base at Boni, Nigeria Basic uh, Training School, the Naval Medical Center, the Nigerian Navy Hydrographic School, and the Naval Shipyard Limited, Borikiri, in Port Hackett. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.